Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another amazing color grading tutorial. And today I'm going to be explaining a difference between nodes. I have a lot of people asking me this question for a couple of weeks now, asking me um, to explain the difference between parallel node, serial node, and layer node that we can see in DaVinci Resolve. And today I'm going to dedicate this tutorial explaining what each of those nodes does in the timeline and I'm actually going to compare it in the Photoshop in case uh, some of you guys have the photography experience that way you can actually compare them side by side and see exactly how DaVinci Resolve is realistically very similar to Photoshop so let's get started I have exactly the same image in Photoshop and I'm gonna be switching between that way you guys can see exactly what each node does Okay, so let's start doing with a serial node. Uh, serial node is very simple. It's a, it's a very easy concept. Basically, whatever you do in a serial node, any kind of adjustment, let's say, let's say I want to make everything more dark. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring down midtones a little bit. Okay, so this is a serial node. Let me call this serial node. So this node affects everything behind it so think of it as you adding things on top let me show you how it reflects in the photoshop so i'm gonna go in the photoshop let's see i have tons of stuff over here okay so we're in the photoshop now and because i don't have color wheels i'm just gonna use curves and in the curves i'm just gonna pull it down on the midtones so this is gonna be let me let me reframe this uh, I mean rephrase this I'm sorry this is gonna be our serial node and if we're gonna go back in DaVinci Resolve let's see there we go we can see exactly same effect so the each node that you add let's say this is gonna be our serial number two so this serial node now going to affect previous node and the first node Let's say I want to bring everything more down like this. Okay, so I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit. And now I'm going to go back into Photoshop and I'm going to create another node. And I'm going to call this Serial 2. And I'm going to do exactly the same operation, just like that. And you guys can see that I'm doing basically exactly the same adjustments. So let's verify that. Let's go to DaVinci. <coughs> And we can see we have pretty much almost identical look. Okay. Very good. So this is a serial note. Everything you do is affecting the previous notes. Okay. So I, I guess that's pretty straightforward. Now let's talk about parallel, uh, parallel notes. So in a parallel note, let's see, let's create a note and we're going to uh, push alt P. It creates a parallel node. Everything you do in the parallel nodes is affecting everything simultaneously. So, for example, let's say that, uh, just to make it easy, let's say that I want to give a little bit more yellow, okay, in, in the first parallel mixer node. And in this node, I want to give it a little bit more, like, kind of, hold on, that kind of look ugly. Okay, let's do it like that. So, all these guys, they're working simultaneously. This one and this one don't really affect each other. They have no effect on each other. But they're affecting everything that comes over here, if that makes sense. So, they're working at the same time. Now, let's try to replicate that in a Photoshop. So, let me see. My first node, I pulled the blue down. In my second node, I pulled the red to the left. So, let's go back to Photoshop, and I'm going to create another Curves, and over here I'm going to go to Blue, and I'm going to pull it down, and then I'm going to go to Red, and I'm going to pull it right over here. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to do Red in a, in a separate, in a separate um, adjustment layer. So, I'm going to put Red over here. Okay. And now, if I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to put them in the folder, so this is going to be our parallel 
uh, mixer. So this is how parallel works. Okay, both of them affecting whatever comes in front. Oh, I'm, uh, I mean, yeah, in, in, in the front of it, as well as obviously in the back. So they're sort of in between. And each time you do adjustments within the parallel, they work in simultaneously. So that's a parallel mixer. Now let's do another one and we're gonna do layer mixer. Layer mixer in DaVinci Resolve is a little bit tricky. So just for the sake of tutorial, let me do a bleach bypass. So I'm gonna desaturate it and we're gonna do a mixing mode. Let's go for overlay, okay? Now, in Photoshop, the layer operation is slightly different. If I would be doing this in Photoshop, this would be like this, the order. And let's go in the Photoshop right now. And I'm going to create, let's see, I'm going to, to have one and two. Okay, so this is going to be our layer. So let's pretend this is our top layer and this is our bottom ah hold on I can anyways bottom there we go got confused with the buttons so this top layer in resolve is the one that go to the bottom so if I'm gonna desaturate this as I did in resolve and I'm gonna do overlay we're gonna get exactly the same effect uh, like in DaVinci Resolve. So, but in DaVinci Resolve, they're a little bit flip upside down. If you would be working in a Photoshop, this would be your order of operation. You're mixing this with the bottom. I don't know why DaVinci Resolve decided to do it this way, but basically that's what it is. So, I really hope this little tutorial got a little bit clear for you guys, the order of operation. And if not, uh, please feel free to leave a comment and I'm going to try to explain more in, in, I guess, in more details if you don't understand. But um, anyways, I decided to do this little tutorial between the master series because in my master series, I'm going to be actually using all of those techniques. So I figured I'm going to give it a little bit more background explanation. That way, when you guys watch my master series, you sort of know it, what each node does. So... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon in a couple days. Take care.